So I'm just up to doing the papering the front wall. So here we've got my front door, we've got the kitchen window, bedroom window up top there, and the rest of this wall. So I've just done one big long strip along the bottom. And so for this top section up here, because it's only small bits and it sort of goes the whole way along until you get to this bit where I'll do another full length, you know, across that window type thing and then just cut out that window. But for this section, because it's so small, I've just got all of my off cut pieces. So these are bits that, you know, just got off cut and I just rolled them up um, as scrap bits, but they'll probably be the perfect size uh, for that top section. So I'm just gonna unroll these, see what shape they are. So good tip to keep these extra ones because they do come in handy for those little areas or gaps that you miss. Taped all up there, I've got all the different scrap pieces um, up there and across that window length. There's just a little bit to do up there, but I can do that later. But this window here is all taped and ready for the window to go in. So that's the next step. All right, we've got the window all primed and ready to be putting up here. And we've got nails tacked into the side to stop it falling out at the right distance. Let's see how we go. I'll hold it like this. Yep. You go to the outside, get some nails, and tack it in. All right, we got this tacked in from the inside and also the outside with these type of nails. So yeah, that's what they look like when they're closed. And this window cost me $875, which is pretty expensive for a second-hand window, but it was such a good perfect fit, and it was the wood finish, which I really wanted. A lot of windows, a lot of second-hand windows that you find are uh, painted white or, you know, painted sills, so you've got to go through the whole hassle of stripping back the paint and re-sanding it and getting it all smooth and re-oiling it if you want the wooden look, which I do. But this one wasn't painted, so that was the biggest bonus. And it was bifold, so I could open it up, and it was sort of a perfect fit for um, my kitchen area as well. I've decided to put the screws through the window frame into the steel, is the simplest way. So I've pre-drilled three different holes, and I've got the screws sitting in there, and I got a drill piece which is just a little bit bigger than the screw so it can just slide in there and it's not going to spit on the wood and then it's going to grip the steel and pull in tight for there. Also got packers, the right size packer which will fit in over the top of that screw so that this gap um, will be filled by these packers. So this is what it looks like. Nice and flush. It's easy with the softwood because it just pushes in, so you don't need to countersink it or anything. Now I'll just pull out these temporary nails and it's all fixed in. So now I'm just going to cut out this window, same as I did this window, and tape it along the sides. Put all that tape in all the different edges, same one with this one. So now I'm ready to put the window in 